Hi all, welcome back to another video. In this video, we will be discussing about the INCO terms and shipping methods which are provided by the sales module in Odoo. Now, as you all know, sales module is one among the biggest sales management modules that even exist. Okay, now inside the sales module, you can see every step by step procedure which takes place inside a sale. Now, here we use INCO terms. So, INCO terms are nothing but international commercial terms. Now, these are used in case of trades and these are defined by the International Chamber of Commerce. Similarly, we have the shipping methods also. So, for you all to use this shipping methods, you have to enable certain things inside the configuration settings. Now, let's move on to the module and see what are the things which you have to do to perform these things. Okay, so now let's get into the sales module. So, here is the sales, I'm opening it. Now, the first thing which you have to do is go to the configuration settings and enable the shipment, I mean shipping methods and also the uh, INCO terms. So, let's check whether it's uh, enabled. So, I'm going to the configuration settings here and inside this you can see the shipping section where the delivery method is already enabled. So, that's the shipping method itself. Now, here we have the INCO terms as well. I'm enabling it enabling it and saving it. Now underneath you can see uh, a lot of connectors. We'll talk about it later. Now all of them are enabled. So uh, it's loading, let's wait. Okay. Now if you go to the configuration, you can see the shipping methods as a menu inside the sales module. Okay. So you can't find the INCO terms here. Now, if you want to see the INCO terms, you have to go to the accounting module. Okay. So open the accounting module. And inside the accounting, you have the configuration settings. There also you can uh, access the INCO terms. So I'm not going to settings. So here under the configuration, you can see INCO terms. So I'm opening it. Now here you can see all the INCO terms which are there in our system. So currently you can see two fields called the name and code. So there will be a code and a name corresponding to that code. Similarly, if you want to add INCO terms, you can add them. Now, these INCO terms are simply international commercial terms. Now, they are basically used in trades and all. Okay. And they are defined by the Chamber of Commerce as I said before. Okay. So, if you want, you can uh, add a new INCO term here. It's very simple. Just click on create. Give the code here and here the name. So, that's done. Let's go to the sales module and create a quotation. Now, inside a quotation also, you can add this INCO term. Okay. So, I'll just click on create. Here, I will mention the name of the customer and also add a product. So, clicking on add a product here, I will add a caustic block screen and I will give a quantity of 2 or something. Okay. Or simply one quantity will do. Okay. After this, you have the other info tab inside the quotation. Now, if you just take a look at the other info tab, here you have the delivery section and under the delivery section, you have the INCO term. So, if you just click on the INCO term there, you can see all those INCO terms which you created inside the accounting module. That is, uh, just now we opened the accounting module, right? Now, inside that accounting module, you've seen the uh, INCO term which comes under the configuration. Now, there I showed you a lot of INCO terms which are there in our system. So, the, I mean, those INCO terms can be accessed from here. That means they can be chosen from here. So, I'll choose any one of these terms. It's just a term for some sort of a communication between the trades and all. So, I've given that confirming the sale order. Now, then we have to uh, do that typical sale order thing that is to confirm it, validate the delivery and all. So, here I'm going to validate the delivery. Okay, so I'll do one thing. Validate. Okay, it's validated. Now the demand and done quantity both are same. Let's go back to the sale order. Now here you can see the create invoice button has become active now. So what we have to do is click on the create invoice. So I'll choose regular invoice, create a new invoice. Okay, so the invoice is created. Now it's in the draft state. If you just scroll down and go to other info, here you can see the INCO term. Okay, so here also we can see the INCO term. The one which we chose in the sale order can be chosen from here as well. So I'll just confirm it. Okay, now if you just click on send and print, you will get the invoice here. Okay, so here you can see the invoice which we created. Okay, 
So I'll just save it. Okay. So this is how uh, you you know make use of the inco terms. Okay, that is you get that inside the invoice as well as the sale order. That is while creating, while it is in a quotation state itself, you can choose the inco term there. Okay, it's just a term. There is nothing much to do with it and all. Next, we have the shipping methods. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so let's move on to the shipping method. For that, uh, I'm not doing the payment and all, okay? So I'll keep it there. If you want, we can just proceed, like register payment and all, you can do it from here. Create payment. Okay, so currently it's in payment state. Here you can see all the progresses which have uh, taken place. Now let's go to the configuration and here we have the shipping methods. Now in certain cases you won't be able to see this uh, shipping methods menu inside the configuration. So what you have to do? You have to go to configuration setting, enable the delivery methods. Okay. So if you just open the shipping methods, you can see a lot of methods are there in the system. Now all, majority of these came just because you enabled all those connectors inside the shipping methods. So if you just open the configuration settings, under the shipping, you can see a lot of connectors are there like FedEx, Bpost, SendCloud, UPS, DHL, USPS, EasyPort, connector and all. Now all of them are enabled and that's the reason why you have a lot of shipping methods inside the shipping method menu. So let's open the shipping methods itself. Okay, so here you have a lot. We'll do one thing. Uh, we'll create a new one. So the, those are basically providers. So let's create a new one. I'll create as new shipping method. Okay, now here you have the option to choose the website in which this should be available. I'm not doing that. Then here you have the providers. So basically we have a lot of providers like Fixed price and based on rules are the most common things which we use. And other than that, we have the B post, DHL, Easy Port, and that is the connectors which we enable right now. So those connectors can be got as the providers inside the shipping method. Now here you have fixed price. So if you choose fixed price, what happens is that a fixed price will be taken as the shipping charge. Okay, so if I give 100 here, that much money will be taken. That is, it's a fixed price. There won't be change in it whatever the condition it is and then we have based on rules that is you can set certain condition and based on those rules the amount will be applied so under the pricing you just add a line and here you can give the pricing rules so i'll give first one as price uh, greater than or equal to 200 delivery cost will be 10 plus 2 into weight Okay, now I'll save it and close it. So here a rule has been created. Here you have a delivery product. That is um, nothing but if you create a sale order and you are adding a shipping method to it. So the shipping cost will be added as a delivery product. So for that, you can simply add a delivery product here. So we'll do one thing. I'll add a product. So I'll give the name as ship one, create and edit. Okay, so I'll start it, save it and close. So we've added a delivery product for this shipping method. And you can also mark, like add the margin percentage on rate. So uh, you can see here, the percentage will be, uh, that is this percentage will be added, added to the shipping price. So if you want to add margin on rate, you can just give the percentage over here. And also, if you want to make the shipping uh, cost as like free, you can just check this box and give when it should be free. So I'm giving that as when the amount is above 200 or above 500, this shipping should be completely free. Okay, let's save it. Okay, then let's go to orders, quotation, create a quotation. So I'm adding a customer, also adding a product here. Okay, so I've added a product and the subtotal is 140. Okay, so here you have add shipping. I'm clicking on add shipping there. So here you can see a window where you can choose the shipping method. 
So I'm choosing the shipping method as the one which I created right now. So I'm clicking on search mode. Okay, and here you have the new shipping method. And here you can see the provider is based on rules. So click on that. And the cost is five here. Okay, you can just add it. You, can, you can't change it, okay, because you did it based on rules. Okay, so here you added the shipping method. And here you can see uh, like ship one, which is the uh, delivery product which we added. Okay, then you can simply proceed, confirm and end it. Then I'm just removing it. If you added the quantity as two, what happens is it becomes two eight. I'll add it to five or something. Now it's 700. So I've given a condition as uh, when it's above 500, it should be free. So I'll add shipping. Okay, so from here, let's choose the one which we created, which is new shipping method add so here you can see the cost is zero so it happened so i'll show the writing there again i'm adding okay so here um i'll open the new shipping method so the shipping is free since the order amount exceeds 500 we gave such a condition right so that's why it's free of cost so add it you can see it's free of cost. So this is how you apply what condition where you are not applying or you, you don't charge the shipping cost. Okay, so you can set condition. If the um, amount is greater than this much, then you can uh, like provide free shipping and all. Okay, so that's the shipping. And if you want to update shipping cost, you can do that from here. Let's remove it. I'll change the quantity to one itself. Now it's 140 or simply I'll give three. Okay, so it's 420, add shipping. So here you can see the sh uh, shipping free, uh, free, I mean shipping is free since the order exceeds 50. Here it's some other shipping method and choose ours. So the new shipping method. Here you can see the cost is 10. Okay, so this has been calculated based on the rule, that is the pricing rule which we provided. Before, when we chosen this, we got 5, right? Now it's 10. So based on the amount and the weight, I mean, we give the condition as price, right? So based on the price, it will depend. That is, it will change. And if you give, uh, like I've given 500 as a limit. So if you uh, exceed 500, what happens is that you will get a free shipping. So simply adding it. Okay, so here you can see the shipping cost. And then we can confirm it and proceed. So I'll... Uh, you know, validate the delivery and all. Okay. So, after adding the shipping process, what you can do is you can completely do the rest of the things that is like uh, validating the delivery, then what? Doing the invoice and all. So, I'll just edit it here. Validate. Okay. So, let's add lot and serial number for the product. Okay, so that's it. Um, this is how you basically add the shipping method also to your sale order. That is simply create a new shipping method. Before that, make sure you are enabling it inside the configuration settings. Okay, and only then you can uh, access it inside the configuration of your sales module. Okay, then you can uh, do the providers based on rules or fixed price or any other connectors and you can set it uh, accordingly. That is the amount can be set accordingly. So this is how you do the shipping method and this is what Inco terms are. That's all we have for you in this video. See you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.